Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Studio Series 86, Slug, or as I'm going to call him throughout the rest of this video, Slag. Allow me to introduce Grimlock, Slag, and <laughs> Now I picked up Slag here from Entertainment Earth thanks to a pre-order and he just arrived today and they included free stickers so they must know I'm a Toy Hacks guy. So let's take a quick look at Slag here in the packaging. We've got Slag here in robot mode with Daniel right there. Beautiful artwork of Slag in dinosaur mode with Daniel riding him and if you take a look here Daniel in the artwork has a face where the toy not so much but we'll get into that more later on. Side of the box, we got the same artwork here with 86. Back of the box, we got Slag in robot mode, Triceratops mode, and of course there's Daniel once again. And this side of the box, more of the same artwork, Studio Series 86 in blue. So now, without further ado, let's get Slag opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get slag all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with his blaster, and I really like the looks of this, and this waste of plastic here, Daniel. Now, of course, slag being a Studio Series figure, he does come with this really cool backdrop that you can use for your display. Just put slag in here like so and there you go i mean that's really cool if you have the space to utilize it i unfortunately do not so now let's take a closer look at slag himself now i know slag is a dinobot but my gosh is this figure a beast of a transformers toy i mean look at the size of this guy and i think that's the first time i've ever compared a mountain dew bottle with a transformer but man, this is just so impressive. I don't mind spending 50 bucks on a Transformer when he's this big and beefy. And not to mention, he looks exactly like his Generation 1 cartoon animation model. And that just means the world to an old G1er like me. Now also, he has some great sculpted detail all over. I mean, check out the detail there on the arms, the chest down here on the legs, the feet, all that sculpted detail reminds me of the Generation 1 toy. So you've got the best of both worlds. An animation look with G1 sculpting, and it just looks amazing. Now taking a closer look at the head sculpt of Slag, that is spot on. A lot of people complain, why is the thing all red? Man, that's how he looked in Generation 1 as far as the cartoon was concerned. I never understood why they went all red for the cartoon because the toy had a black head. But, oh well, you got a big Autobot logo dead center in the chest. As I said before, lots and lots of molded detail. That does kind of get lost in all that red, but it still looks great. Moving on down to the thighs, you got some green and blue details there. 
on down the legs. I love the gold feet, and those are painted. You can see right here, it's gray, and you got the gold paint right there, and that looks awesome. I love the sculpted detail on this figure. It's just absolutely amazing. They did such a good job with this Studio Series figure. Now, as far as articulation is concerned, the head is on a ball joint. It can look up and down and do a complete 360, but it is hard to get a hold of because of the hood right here, which of course is the Dinobot upper jaw. Now, it does pop loose a little so you can get in and move the head, but that really doesn't look right. So just kind of snap that back into place. And there you go. The arms can do a complete 360. And listen to that. I love ratchet joints. That is great. So the arms, complete 360. They can go out. They can go in. There is a bicep bend. Actually, a double bicep bend. Bicep rotation. And there is a wrist rotation. We also have waist rotation. And nice and tight. So nice and tight, I actually pulled him apart right there. So yeah, that's great, especially compared to some of the figures I've been getting lately with really floppy joints. The legs forward and back, once again, nice ratchets. Now they really don't go back as, yes they do, just got caught on the back section here, which I'll go over momentarily. Legs can go out, they can go in. There is a nice deep knee bend, kind of a double jointed knee bend, thanks to transformation once again on ratchets love it and there are ankle tilts so lots of posability for slag now moving back to the backpack this thing does not connect the way i wish it would you got these little pegs right up here behind the crest of the dinobot dinosaur mode these are supposed to tab in right there and hold that chest section in place but unfortunately it's not a tight fit, and it, just, it comes loose way too easy. So I may thicken that up with some Pledge floor polish to get that in there good. But still, not bad for a backpack with the Dinobot, which backpacks are par for the course with these characters. The tail, I wish the tail could go up a little bit higher on the back. But hey, as I said, no biggie. Now, taking a look at his accessories, he gets his blaster right here, which is a real nice, thick weapon. And it looks to be two pieces glued together. It's got a little tiny handle right there, but that doesn't matter. That's all he needs to hold it in his hand. And it looks really, really good. And it also is blast effect compatible. Now, it really doesn't have a large port for the blast effect but it will work. So there you go. So you have that option right there. So a really, really good looking figure. I do wish he came with a sword. All the Dinobots came with swords, but just like Studio Series Grimlock, they only gave Slag his rifle. So now let's go ahead and get Slag transformed into dinosaur mode. We'll remove the weapon put that to the side and what you're going to do first rotate the hands a complete 180 and just press them down into the wrist these will of course form the dinobot front feet and the next thing you're going to do is fold this section here down the chest section and drop down the head and then you're going to flip this whole section right here that the head has fallen into bring that up along with the lower jaw of the dinosaur now go ahead and flip slag around unfold the entire backpack and kind of get it out of the way now what we're going to do is let me see if i can get this all on camera is you're going to flip the feet out and take this section right here and fold up and then flip this section out and around just like so bring that down put the foot back in place here on this side, you may see it a little better. Flip this out, this up, and rotate this section out and around, and then close everything back up. So there you go. Now, let's go ahead and rotate the waist, a 180. And now you're just going to simply bring the legs up.
and in. Just like so. So you kind of get the feet folded up in under the body. And what you want to look for is these little slots right there where the feet are going to peg into. So get those pegged in. There we go. Now, this, this is a pain in the ass. You've got these little pegs right here that need to slot into these little holes. And getting these lined up just right, like I said, is a pain. I mean, you can, it looks like you get them lined up so many times and they just don't want to line up and get in there right. Well, okay, that went in pretty quick. So there's one and the other. So yes, there we go. We've got that section pegged in right there. So now that you have the legs all formed, what you're gonna do is flip the head up a little bit and then you're gonna take the chest section, open this up and there's a double hinge and you're gonna to try to, let's see, take these little sections here, fold those down first, get them out of the way of the crest and just kinda of double hinge those together. There we go. And then take the chest plate, fold that up. Now you've got these little crest pieces. You're going to try to tab those together. Go ahead and bring the front legs down. Go ahead and unfold the rear legs. And now you're going to take this section right here and just bring that down, fold it in place, and tab it right there along the sides and there we have slag in dinosaur mode in dinosaur mode slag looks just as awesome as he did in robot mode check out all of that molded detailing that looks awesome they did such a good job on this figure now right here i wish these little crest sections would tab in just a little bit better See if I can give them a good squeeze, but they just they don't want to hook in on that one side. So that's kind of disappointing, but nothing I can't live with. Now, what I really think sucks is the fact the inside of the horns are so hollow. There's hardly any hollow bits on this toy, and it just kind of ruins the look with those big hollow gaps on the upper horns. But what are you going to do? I'm sure some third party individuals going to fix those up for us and make them look right love the paint scheme and colors on this guy the head sculpt looks amazing very g1 i love the eyes they did a real good real nice paint job with those eyes i love how they can catch the light you got the big autobot logo right there on the forehead i mean this guy just looks amazing and i forgot something right here in the back of the tail you do peg in his weapon for weapon storage. Let me get that in. So there you go. You got a little gun tip tail. Now it looks okay. I mean, if it was, if the gun was gold, it wouldn't look good in robot mode, but it doesn't look too bad in dinosaur mode. Now, as far as articulation, the legs can move back and forth, and that's about it for the rear leg. Of course, you got a little knee bend right there for the foot. Actually, that's an ankle bend. And then, I don't know, thigh bend, knee bend up here at the top. Now, the front legs, those were the robot arms, so they can go out and in. And let's see, you got a little bit of ankle rock right there. Now, I do wish the toes were painted gold like the head and tail, but still not too bad. Now, let me bring in generation one slag for comparison so yes he's definitely come a long way and here we have slag with studio series 86 grimlock this is actually a really good scale between these two now dinosaur mode is where the second accessory comes in daniel witwicky here in the exosuit and this this sucks. I mean, it's more or less, actually, I think it's worse than the wheelie that came with Grimlock. At least wheelie had some paint applications. Daniel here, he's got some 
light bluish green there on the front of the legs, blue hands, headlight nipples, and that's about it. I mean, he he sucks. He's stuck in this constant squatting pose, just like Wheelie was. So it looks like he's taking a dump, or I guess you can move him around and transform him into some kind of mech crab thing. But yeah, and I wish they could have done something with the head there. He just looks like an egghead. But what you're supposed to do, you've got these little pegs right there behind the ankles, and he's supposed to peg in. If you look right here, there's pegs on the back of slag. Get those pegged in like so, and he gets to ride slag around, which makes no sense, and I can't get him tabbed in. Not that it matters. I will never, ever display him like that. There, I got one leg tabbed in. So there you go. He can ride slag around, which, like I said, makes no sense because there was never a scene in Transformers the movie where Daniel was riding slag like this. I just watched the movie the other day with Dylan and his friends, and I didn't see it. I was looking. Maybe it's in a deleted scene. I don't know, but I hate that. They could have used this plastic right here to give Slag a sword. Now, a piece of articulation I did miss was Slag's mouth right here. It can open nice and wide, and you have a blast effect port right there. Slag is known as a flamethrower, so you can peg in a blast effect, and there you go. Maybe I should have picked a bigger blast effect, but you see how that works. So there you go, guys. There is Transformers Studio Series 86 Slag in dinosaur mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series 86 Slag with Generation 1 Slag, Power of the Primes Slag, Earthrise Ratchet and Wheeljack, and Studio Series 86 Grimlock. And this is actually a pretty good scale with these figures, as you can tell from this still from the Generation 1 cartoon. Transformers Studio Series 86 Slag is an amazing Transformers figure. I love this toy. My only real complaints with him is the hollow horns in his dinosaur mode, and of course, Daniel here, which I think is just a waste of plastic. We really didn't need him. I wish instead he came with his sword, just like the Generation 1 toy. Now, granted, he didn't have his sword in the 86 movie, but hey, Scourge didn't have his gun either. So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series 86, Slag. So, does a Transformers Studio Series 86 Slag with Daniel Witwicky belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a fantastic Transformers figure. He's big, he's beefy, there's no hollowness to him whatsoever except up there in the dinosaur horns. But other than that, this guy is awesome. We got ratchet joints, we got a fun transformation, and I just love this guy. I couldn't be happier. Daniel here, on the other hand, well, Daniel sucks. So yeah, you see this guy on the shelf, pick him up, you are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!